Hello everybody, this is Nikki Gordon Bloomfield and I'm driving a Clarity FCV, the Clarity fuel cell vehicle from Honda. Yes, I know, I'm driving a hydrogen fuel cell car. The last time I drove this car was back in 2006, 2007 and it was much more noisy than this car appears today. Um, I've been told uh, by Mario, who's sitting here with me from Honda, that uh, this is a this good kind of a 20, 2006 revision of this car. And it's uh, very smooth. It feels very much like driving any uh, electrically powered car. That's because the FCV is, the Clarity FCV is effectively an electric car. Instead of getting your power from a battery pack, you're getting the power from the fuel cell. I'm afraid I don't know the specifics in terms of um, stats, but off the top of my head, I seem to recall this is somewhere around about 100 kilowatts of motor power. Um, I don't know if Mario, you're able to confirm that. About 100 kilowatts of motor power, and the fuel cell stack itself. Um, there's some gubbins in the boot, and there's the fuel cell stacks here, and the tanks in the boot. Um, you're looking at a range, I think, of about 300 miles per fill. So kind of Tesla Model S-esque style range. But right now, um, I can tell you that this car, it feels like like any EV, uh, because that's essentially, it is an EV. Uh, on the dash, uh, those who have driven um, the uh, any Honda of late will, will recognize this split dash, it's in the Civic. And the FCX Clarity feels uh, contemporary to any other car of, of its age. Um, you've got this wonderful uh, gauge here that tells you whether the car is charging or whether it's uh, recharging, uh, sorry, whether you're using power. So I'm regen braking right now. We're putting power back into the car. As soon as I floor it, uh, we will see that this uh, energy uh, comes back. Now, in a second, I'm going to try and overtake this home base truck and we'll give you an idea of the acceleration. sized EV. Uh, certainly didn't feel quite as powerful as, as my Leaf in, in that, that part of uh, the car, but it's been because I've been pushing this car quite a lot. Uh, now let's talk about range. There is a fuel gauge here on the right hand side. Um, it's about half empty now and it's saying that I've got a range of a hundred miles. Um, so, you know, two to three hundred miles in, in the real world, which is about what you'd get with the, uh, the Tesla Model S if you drive it hard. Now, um, the other information I can see here is what you'd find in any other car. Uh, you've got your, your tachometer, your, your, your engine revs per minute. We're currently about 2,000 RPM for the motor. And uh, that's pretty much it. Now, this video obviously is a quick drive. Gives you an idea of what it feels like to drive a fuel cell vehicle and frankly it doesn't feel any different to any other car any other electric car it's an automatic um, you select your gear here which is very reminiscent of the BMW i3 but of course this car had it first and the BMW i3 came later uh, your standard controls here and that's pretty much it now obviously this car is never going to make it into production and that is because uh, this is a prototype car. Um, Honda is working on its next generation hydrogen fuel cell car. The details are, are very sparse at this point. You would have seen it at the Geneva Motor Show this year. Uh, it looks, um, in, in some ways, it's, it's very kind of, uh, very aerodynamic in its design. It looks very much like, um, I, to me, um, Mar uh, Mario says no, but it, to me it looks a little bit like the insight of, of, of days gone by. Um, but we're looking at uh, five seats um, and a four-door hatchback. And you get that whine again, which you don't get in an EV. And I must admit, that's rather bizarre. So I'm going to concentrate on not crashing this very expensive car. This is Nicky Gordon Bloomfield, Ford Transport Evolved, with a little behind the wheel what it really feels like to drive a hydrogen fuel cell car. And I've left the politics of fuel and fuel generation behind because I'm at an event today where all the hydrogen is generated using solar electricity. Don't forget to subscribe and join us every
every Friday and every Sunday for our shows. Take care.